All right guys, Coach Alex here. Uh, for today's workout, we have a fun little uh, repeating AMRAP. So it's a five minute AMRAP, you're gonna rest two minutes and you're gonna, you're gonna repeat it for a total of three rounds. Um, what it is, it's gonna be 10 thrusters, five burpees, 10 sit-ups. For the thrusters, you're gonna use your dumbbells. If you have two dumbbells, that's the ideal. You're gonna pick them up, hold them on either, either arm, and you're gonna finish deep front squat, push up over your head. Notice that when he's overhead, he's pushing his arms up to the ceiling, not letting them sit out in front of his body. All right, if you don't have dumbbells and you're gonna use a kettlebell, totally okay, this is a great movement. You're gonna hold it much, much like you're holding a uh, goblet squat. You can hold it up. I like holding it by the bell in this instance just because you get a little bit more control over the weight. You're gonna go down to that same squat and then you're gonna go up and you're just gonna press up overhead and finish as straight as you can. All right, exactly the same. You don't have to change the reps. If it's a little lighter, it'll let you move a little faster. All right, so if you do have dumbbells and kettlebells, you're looking for something a little lighter and faster, you can totally do it with a kettlebell instead. It's a great sub. All right, for the burpees, the burpees today are straight, normal burpees. You can just drop your feet back and go down into a regular burpee. Your feet are gonna, there you go. You can just jump back up. Again, try to land with your heels flat on the floor as much as possible. If you're noticing that you can't get your heels to the floor, try to take your feet out a little wider. It's gonna be easier the wider your feet go to land flat footed, okay? And then lastly, for the setups, again, uh, make sure that you are coming up all the way to the top of your setup position. And when I say all the way, what I mean by that is at the top, shoulders are going to finish in front of the hips, okay? If you don't have an ab mat, you can roll up a towel, um, you can put an old t-shirt or even a pillow underneath your back. Just think you wanna support the small of your back so you're not flattening out as you're coming up. All right, have a great workout, guys.